many times per day should you be eating to reach your fitness goals? This is one of the questions that I get the most and it has a really simple answer, right? There's a lot of different theories. There's, there's the guys who are gonna be eating one meal a day, then you got the, the six meals per day type of person. But at the end of the day, it's gonna depend on two things. First of all, what is the thing that you're gonna be able to stick the most to? Okay, because at the end of the day, this is all about what's gonna be sustainable for you in the long term. And second of all, what's your schedule like? Because maybe you're like, yeah, I would be, it'll be easy for me, like, why, like like day to day wise, it will be easy for me to eat six times per day because I, I like to eat a lot. But if you look at your schedule, you really don't have time to eat six times per day. Or maybe you're like, yeah, schedule wise, it will be super easy for me to um, eat just one time per day, but then you're hungry all day because you like to eat and it's not really a good fit. So at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to what is the best option for you. Because listen, the problem with all these type of questions is that a lot of people who are asking these questions are looking at what pro bodybuilders and competitors and pro athletes are doing and they're like, wow, but like Cristiano Ronaldo is eating this many times per day. Um, shouldn't I be eating the same things? Well, the reality is that all these athletes, the nutrition it's based on performance, okay? And now when we're talking about performance, if you had a game to play tonight, if you had a show that you were preparing, if you had to perform at a certain level in your workout, then we can talk about um, uh, meal uh, periodization, and we can talk about times, and we can talk about um, what is the best, um, the best split for you versus uh, looking at what you're trying to achieve. But if you're just looking to be healthy, to lose fat, to build some muscle, and to be more energetic, meal periodization is not going to change anything for you. Because at the end of the day, you're not going for performance, but you're going for fat loss, muscle movement, energy, whatever. So at the end of the day, it's all going to come down to what is going to suit your schedule the best. And most importantly, what do you feel the best doing? Because at the end of the day, your body is going to be able to adapt to whatever uh, option you choose. Um, obviously, if you don't feed your body for like 10 days, your body's not going to like that. Um, but um, if you say, hey, I'm only going to eat one time per day, uh, there's been a lot of research and a lot of people who've gotten incredible results by only like eating all the calories and all the protein in one meal. And if you're like, hey, I'm going to be eating six times or four or five or three, like there's a lot of research that show that that really doesn't change a lot of the outcome, so at the end of the day, you wanna focus on the things that are gonna move the needle the most for you. So what that's gonna be is being on a calorie deficit if you're trying to lose weight, being on a calorie surplus if you're trying to put on weight, eating enough protein, getting enough sleep, and getting your workouts in. If you follow those, it doesn't really matter if you eat one, two, three, four, five, or six times per day, as far as you follow it up, all right? So my advice for you is gonna to be to really assess your schedule and assess your preferences. Do you like to eat more? Do you like to eat less? Do you like to have like bigger meals or do you prefer to have like a lot of small meals? So assess your preferences, assess your schedule and figure out what's gonna be the best way for you to go because that's gonna be the perfect split for you to eat your meals in the day. All right, so like always, if you found this content valuable, you just send it to someone who might uh, see some value on it as well, maybe a friend that you know that is always changing how many times you're eating or they're like this, is trying to follow a, a split that is not sustainable because of their work or because they're just getting fed up all like just because someone online said that that was the best split. Um, and like always, if you had some questions, just drop it in the comments below. I'll talk to you in the next video.